I remember as a kid, my mom, we would do this same prayer every single night. And I remember one time I forgot to say amen at the end and I thought it didn't count. So I said it again, the whole thing. I didn't think Jesus heard it unless I said this amen. And it's kind of funny how my thought of like a five-year-old was actually kind of true. What do I mean by this? What this is talking about is a certain kind of prayer for all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why through him that we utter our amen, our prayer, our affirmation, our willing submission to what God wants to do to God for his glory. And there's four really interesting things about our prayer back to God. One, in that it is through him. Which is why we usually at the end of our prayers will say something like in Jesus' name or through Jesus. Because it is through him actually that our prayer is sent to the Father. Does that make sense? It's through him. But it's not just through him. It also has a goal. The goal of our amen to God's amen is for his glory. Have you ever thought about the intentions of your prayer not being so you can get more things but that God can be glorified? Doesn't that just change the texture a little bit. So it's not only just through Jesus. So I, I'm like, whoo, Jesus, go and take this. The great interceder, go and take this. But also the purpose of my prayers has less to do with what I want and more about who I am glorifying in the process. Doesn't that kind of mess you up a little bit? But it also says this word right here, that for all the promises of God find their yes in him, that or because of, because of the promises, is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. Which means that when we say our amen in prayer, it's because we are holding fast to the promises that connect us to the amen. So when we say amen, it is through him, it is for his glory, and it is holding on to the promises. But also when we say this amen, there's something else that happens. It's this affirmation of God when we say amen. It's yes, Lord, you can do it. It means yes, Lord, you are powerful. Lord, you are wise, you are merciful. It's this exclamation point of faith and prayer to say, I need help. Or it's an exclamation point of strong affirmation with the strength that's saying, God, you are great in all seasons. It is through him. It is for his glory. It's so that we can hold close to the promises when we don't actually intend to. And for us to understand that our amen is say, God, you got it. Do we pray like that? Do we pray like that? 